Hi guys, I am super excited to be back filming again. I, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, I have graduated. I am finally done with school and able to kind of get back into doing videos. And I have wanted to be putting out more videos than I have, but it just has not been able to happen, especially like these last couple months have just been insane. So in my video today, I kind of just wanted to talk all about why I decided to go to cosmetology school, kind of what my experience was, and then what my plans are now. For those of you who have been watching for a while, I'm sure you probably know that I have been in school. Maybe you didn't know what I was doing or where I was. I briefly said last year in my 4th of July vlog that um, I was going to be going to cosmetology school, but I didn't really go into it that much. I didn't really say that much about it because um, at the time it was really, really new and I didn't know what to expect, honestly. This is a video that I'm kind of excited about just because I feel like I'm finally here. It's finally done. It's finally over and I'm ready to get back into making videos because this is something that I also really love doing and it's really fun for me, honestly. So my whole life growing up, my mom has done hair, either in our home or at a salon somewhere. She's done a couple other things along the way, but hair has always been the main thing that she has done. And I think because I saw her do that. I witnessed firsthand, you know, for me it looked easy, but I also knew, you know, she was tired a lot and I didn't really understand that because I just felt like, okay, you know, it's just a normal job, not a big deal. And I told myself that I never wanted to do that. I never wanted to do hair. I never wanted to have anything to do with it. I love doing my own hair. I love getting my hair done, makeup. I feel like I'm a pretty girly girl, but doing hair for other people just was never what I wanted to do. And honestly, I never really even wanted to go to college at all. All I ever wanted was to be a stay at home mom. I wanted to get married, have lots of kids and just do the mom thing, be at home with them, be taking them to school, to practices, to games, to whatever it was. That's all I wanted to do. So that was exactly what I did. I got married young, got married right out of high school. About two years later, we had Kira and I was just doing the mommy thing and I loved it. I loved every minute of it. And then as a lot of you know, surprise, we got pregnant with Kensington and it was a lot. It was a really big change, but it was amazing. And I was so excited and so happy when we brought her home and it was just this dynamic of you know, having a little one, having a toddler who loved her sister and was eager to help. And I just, I thoroughly enjoyed it. What I didn't know though was I, I guess have kind of like a postpartum depression. I didn't really realize it until my mom said something to me about it because I always felt like postpartum depression was like you want to harm your baby or you want to harm yourself. And I never felt like that. I never, it was never like that, but I just wasn't happy. And I was really, um, just in a weird space. And so I kind of started feeling like there was something else. There was, I needed more. I needed something different. I needed more stuff for myself. I felt like doing YouTube, that kind of helped, but yet it also kind of added stress in some areas. We had a lot of financial responsibilities that were a stress on, you know, me, my husband, just felt like the whole family. And on top of all of this, my husband, you know, he's gone a lot, not just for work, but for school. And I just kind of one day felt like, you know what? I, even though I have never wanted to work before, I think that I should go to work. I think that that would help us a lot financially. I felt like if I could go to school for a short amount of time and be able to make the amount of money that my husband makes, if not more, then he could quit his job and just focus on school. That could be his main priority, hit it hard, get it done, and us to be able to have like our careers. Um, and so I just kind of one day said to him, what do you think about me going to cosmetology school? And he was like, okay, you know, and it was kind of just this weird, like, I guess, you know, like, what do you think? And I was like, I think I should do it. It's a year long program. I can do it. I can be done. It's something that I feel like I will enjoy. I've seen my mom do it. I feel like I kind of have a general idea. And I talked to my mom about it. She said, I think that you should go for it. I think it would be great if 
Alan could just focus on school and you could work. And of course I thought about, you know, not being able to be there for the girls as much and that that was hard, but I think I was just so, so just needed a change. I so needed a change. So I went and I toured a school and she asked me when I would want to start. And I said, well, I think as soon as possible. And she said, well, class starts in two weeks. And at that moment, it just kind of hit me and I was like, well, I guess I'm starting in two weeks. And that's exactly what I did. I started school two weeks after I took that tour and it, it was hard. Um, and especially the first five weeks, that's when you do your basic training. And it was, you could not miss school at all. You could only miss a total of 24 hours and then you were done. You were kicked out. So I was there. I was there every day and I, I just, I pushed through it and it was so hard to leave the girls. It was the hardest thing. And I didn't realize, I think because I was just in, in a really bad headspace, I didn't realize how hard it was going to be. There was a lot of breakdowns. There was a lot of crying. There was a lot of times where I almost dropped out you know, in, in, in that whole year time span. I had to stop breastfeeding. I ended up stopping cloth diapering. There were several things along the way that really devastated me that added to that whole wanting to drop out factor. I actually went to the admissions office and asked them what, where, what my student loan situation would be if I went ahead and dropped out. And that was when I was probably about halfway through. And he said, well, you know, you you would owe it all back. You would have to pay it all back. And I just went to my car <laughs> and I cried and I didn't end up going to school that day. I just went home and I, I, I basically gave myself a pep, pep talk and I said, you know, you cannot afford to quit now and owe all that money back. You have to suck it up and you have to finish. And I did. And now looking back, I, I understand those those thoughts, those emotions, because they were real and it was really hard. But I'm so glad that I didn't quit. I'm so glad that I finally made it here, that it's over with, that it's done. Great experience though. It was so fun. And you make friends along the way and you bond with the girls that you're there with. And it was it was a really good experience. So that's kind of a, a long roundabout way of kind of giving you guys the gist of what I went through this past year. And I loved every minute of it as far as having something that was my own. I think that that is so important. And I think that especially being a stay-at-home mom, it's very easy to get sucked into just the mom life and that's all you're about and that's all I was about and I think for me as hard as, as hard as it is and was to have somebody else be with my kids the majority of the day I am glad that I essentially found this new identity I felt before like all I am is a mom that's it and that's great but for me like my self-worth kind of just I, I just didn't really have any. I just felt like I'm a mom. That's all I am. That's all I'm good at. That's all I know. And I wanted more. And I feel like now I have that. I feel like I am so much more confident and strong um, because of all that that I went through. And I feel like, yes, I'm a mom. And that is great. And that is who I am first. I am a mom. I am a mother of two amazing kids. But I am also a cosmetologist. I'm a wife. I'm a woman. I am... I have so much more to offer, I feel now, and I know that kind of sounds silly, but to me, it's really important. To me, it means so much. So anyways, moving on from that uh, to kind of what's next and what I have planned and what I want to do, I am going to be working at my mom's salon. She owns her own salon, so I'm going to be working there with her alongside several other stylists, and I'm super excited. I am extremely nervous but I'm really excited. I still have to take my boards to actually be licensed and that I'm more nervous for, I think, than working itself, but I'm really, really excited. I'm excited to get in there. I know eventually one day I would love to have my own salon, um, but it really just depends. I think a lot of you guys know that we will be moving eventually for my husband to go um, 
go to school and I, I don't know what that time is gonna hold for us as far as how much I'm able to work or where I'm able to work. I don't know what all of that is gonna look like, but I'm just, I'm excited to go and to get my experience and to kind of be working with my mom and having her teach me, you know, even more. And I'm super excited. Um, as far as what's next with my channel and with YouTube, that is really unknown. I, I don't know. I feel like it's something that I enjoy doing, that I really like doing. I have a couple of videos planned, things that I want to do. I know that I had um, a video request for doing diaper rash cream. Um, and so I feel like that's something that I'll eventually get to, hopefully. I don't know if a Q&A is something that you guys would want to see. I know that there's some new subscribers that I have gotten that maybe don't know that much about me. And so then I thought kind of like with the Q&A, that could be something to um, be able to answer some of your guys' questions if you have any. So let me know. If you guys have video requests, if there's something that you want to, you're wanting to see, let me know. Because um, like I said, I have some ideas, but I'm kind of... I kind of feel like now that um, I don't have a little one anymore, like my my ideas or my views and things are kind of changing a little bit, but I don't want to change this channel too much because it still is very much a mommy channel and that's, you know, a lot of, a lot of my life. So you guys just kind of let me know um, if there's things that you're wanting to see um, and then I can kind of go from there and kind of know know what you guys are wanting because I want to I want to put content out there that you guys are wanting to see. I want to say a big thank you to you guys for continuing to subscribe even though I haven't been putting anything out there. Um, I think for now I'll probably try and put at least one video out a month. If I can do more than that um, I would love to. It really just kind of depends on what I have going on. I feel like now I have a little bit more of a flexible schedule but I'm trying to kind of get things in order. Um, like I said, I have my tests to take for my license. Um, I've kind of been shadowing, so I'm kind of just trying to work around and find what would be the best day for me to film and how much time I'll have to edit and all of that. So bear with me as I'm still kind of trying to figure out a schedule and what works best, but I hope to get something out at least once a month. So thank you again so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, give this video a thumbs up and if there's anything that you guys are wanting to see leave it down in the comments below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!